Hello, welcome to Toon Flix channel. Thank you for your love and constant support to this channel. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. And as you continue to show your support and engagement on this channel, may the Lord Almighty bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. At midnight the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up! Leave my people, you and the Israelites. Exodus 12 verse 29 to 31. This moment of deliverance for the Israelites happened at midnight, symbolizing God's power over darkness. There is often a strong spiritual battle happening, where unseen forces fight over the lives and futures of people. The quietness of the night makes this struggle more intense, with darkness symbolizing the rule of evil forces trying to harm, deceive, and hold people back. During this time, spiritual attacks can be stronger because the forces of evil take advantage of weakness. Kindly watch till the end to see why you must engage in Midnight Warfare Prayers. How did I get here? <laughs> Grace, you have nowhere to hide now. You are all mine. Who are you? What am I doing here? I don't know you. Keep quiet. No one will save you from me right now. Leave me alone. I don't know you. Shut your mouth. You will remain here forever. No. I must go back to my home right now. Grace you are here. What's wrong? Why are you so frightened? I was in the toilet when I heard you scream. Now you ran off to sitting room. I had a nightmare, Austin. It felt surreal, but I can't remember everything. Take a deep breath, Grace. Tell me what happened. I dreamt of a dark forest, and I was lost. There were strange whispers, but it's all hazy now. It's just a dream, Grace. Dreams can be puzzling. These odd dreams are frequent. They give me headaches and dizziness. I wake up not remembering everything. We'll figure this out together. Maybe it's stress related, but we should consult a doctor if it continues. Your well-being is important. Sign number one. When you notice constant attack in your dreams, or you don't even dream at all. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, it says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This passage emphasizes that the challenges we face are not merely physical but involve spiritual battles against unseen forces. It is thought that during this time, the veil between the physical and spiritual realms is thinner, making it an opportune moment for intense prayer and seeking protection against spiritual adversaries. Also, in Matthew 13 25, it states, But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and went away. This passage is a metaphorical illustration, suggesting that spiritual adversaries, symbolized by the enemy, work subtly and covertly to undermine and disrupt the growth of what is good and valuable. The use of nighttime in the narrative adds a layer of vigilance, emphasizing the importance of staying spiritually awake and aware to protect against subtle attacks or influences that may infiltrate one's life. And if you do not dream at all, it's still a sign that you need to engage in midnight prayer. The Bible says in Proverb 1 verse 17, how useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. Just as a bird can easily evade a visible net, some dreams might resist our conscious attempts to grasp or remember them, blocking your spiritual minds. And that's why you need to engage in a midnight prayer. Martins, you look worried. Since you came back you have been so moody, you have not even changed your clothes. What's going on? I can't handle this anymore. Everything is falling apart. What exactly is the issue? I feel lost, helpless. I need guidance, strength, anything. You haven't told me anything yet. I'm lost here. I know you have some issues with your business, but this one sounds a bit more troubling. You have to open up let's put head together. Grays, I am in a crossroads right now. I just need a miracle. Sign number two. When you need urgent divine intervention. 
Another sign you need to engage in midnight prayer is when you are literally confused and not NL knowing how to handle a situation faced you. In Joshua 10, 9, it says, So Joshua came upon them suddenly, having marched up all night from Gilgal. In this specific context, Joshua, in a strategic move, conducts a night march from Gilgal to surprise the enemy forces. The element of surprise and the timing of the night march play a crucial role in the success of the Israelites in the engagement. While the context of Joshua 10, 9 is a military strategy, the notion of events happening during the night and the element of surprise can be linked to the themes of midnight prayer and unexpected divine interventions. It showcases how timing and strategic actions, even during the night, can bring about significant outcomes for divine intervention. Honey, how do you feel tonight? Don't really know. Lately, I've been feeling lost, disconnected. Like I'm running on empty. Maybe it's time to revive your spiritual signals. What are you talking about? I mean, you seem to be lost in the spirit. You can't even notice what's flying around you anymore. Sadly, that's exactly how I feel right now. Sign number three. When you notice your spiritual signals are down. In Luke 6:12. One of those days Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray, and spent the night praying to God. On a particular day, he purposefully withdrew to a mountainside, seeking solitude for an entire night of fervent prayer to God. It serves as a powerful example of the importance of connecting with the spiritual realm through prayer for guidance, reflection, and communion with a higher purpose at night. There's something serene about praying at this hour. It's like the universe is more attuned to our deepest thoughts. It's the perfect time to revive our spiritual signals. To connect with something greater than ourselves. Let's take a look at Isaiah 21:11. The burden of Duma, he calleth to me out of Seir, Watchman, what of the night? Watchman, what of the night? If you notice at the last part, it mentioned Watchman, what of the night? In several times, this puts a great emphasis on the night. And this verse can be connected to the importance of midnight prayer, as it reflects a yearning for spiritual insight and guidance in times of darkness and uncertainty. The spiritual journey portrayed in Isaiah 21:11 aligns with the introspective and seeking nature often associated with midnight prayer. Where individuals reach out to the divine for clarity and guidance in the midst of life's uncertainties. Suggestions and tips to help you stay physically active and energized during midnight prayers. Number 1. Learn to sleep early. Number 2. Don't eat heavy food once it's past 6 p.m. Number 3. Ask the Holy Spirit to wake you up. This works like magic if you are sensitive. And very important note. Do not lie down on your bed while praying at night. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel if are yet to do so. Like this video and share to gain more visibility. And as you continue to support and engage with this channel, May God Almighty continue to shower you with his blessings, in Jesus' name. Amen.